Hey guys, Justin Stone here from EliteBaseball.tv. One of the fun yet challenging things about my job is having college and professional players spread all across the country, yet I'm still responsible for their individual needs as hitters. What we did is develop an online platform where I can track and still help these players progress with their own individualized plans that we do through video. What you're about to see is the video progression of Jake Berger, the 2017 first round draft pick at Chicago White Sox. I had the opportunity to work with Jake over a five year period. And you're going to see in this video the progress he made in three or four years working in this online platform. Growing up, I loved Paul Canarco. Um, the, there was a guy up in Chicago up here that would do uh, just side-by-side -side comparisons, and he'd always put, put me up next to Canarco, and so you know, I, I had an affinity for him. All right, Jake, we're going to go through your analysis. Hey, I've watched you a few times here myself before I put uh, the record button on. And you're, you're doing a lot of nice things in your swing. There's going to be a couple areas that uh, one is, is really simple. One is going to take you a little more time and to get to the really, really high-level professional swing. But I think it will make real good sense to you when I put a, pictures up against it, which I'm going to do with Paul Canerco and Justin Morneau. Well, the ability to make late adjustments off speed pitches and get the, the most whip out of your swing, a very sudden swing, is the ability to get into and maintain scap load. And that's one thing I don't think you really get to. Show that. Pulling back of the rear elbow takes the scapular, his shoulder blade, on his right side and pinches it to his spine. Just like you're getting ready to throw a punch. If you raise your fist right now and throw a punch, you'll feel your shoulder blade pinching to your spine. Okay, Jake, I reviewed your video a few times, and uh, you've definitely improved some areas from the last time I did a video analysis on you, and there's still one sticking point that we'll talk about. So when I, when I rewind and kind of get into your setup, I, I think this is your biggest strength of getting to a much stronger hitting position and the timing of your scap load is very good. How I can tell a guy has pretty good backside resistance in the scap is I'll see the body sink into the lower half. See how your lower body is sinking into the ground? You're getting really, really anchored to the ground there. There's a ton of leg pressure I can see in your quads. The energy is still in the inside part of the back leg, which means you have a good stretch around your rear hip. Um, that's something you did not do as well last year. The one area I would say here is that you still have a little bit of push with your hands. The All right, Jake, reviewed your video here a few times, and uh, congratulations, by the way, on the good year. I, I saw you uh, in the Super Regional. The one issue that we're going to talk about is just for continued resistance in the upper body and trying to create torque in a position that I call lateral tilt, which I'll illustrate with Canerico on the other side. A bit and it should give you a really good idea of what I'm talking about. Are getting into a good scapula position, which you didn't used to do. And if I go one frame back, that's kind of the frame that illustrates it. So at this point, what I would like to see is the lower body slotting your upper body. Basically, your legs being stronger than a resisting upper body, they are going to pull your hands into the slot initially. And actually, Canary goes into that frame right now. Hitting is individual, and there is not a one-size-fits-all for mechanics. So use this opportunity to work with me to develop your own individual plan to help you progress through this offseason.